Hey there, Babylonians. It's Songs of Rays with another legendary guide. I hope you've had a amazing weekend and I hope you've kept yours safe and enjoyed the lovely weather that's been over here in the UK. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at the Fatal Symbiont uh, SMG and it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a looker. I'll give you that. It's very unique in terms of how it looks. Uh, I think it's, well, it definitely gets marks for that, but uh, it kind of falls down, but to be fair, I think this may be down to the fact that I am running a Technomancer, and I don't think this gun is designed for a Technomancer. Um, so the gameplay itself is going to be okay, but I don't feel like it shows off the ability to what 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 the gun actually brings, what the mod actually brings. Um, it, it just doesn't look anything special. But we're gonna get, we're gonna show you anyway, and we're gonna dive into it and what makes it good. Let's start off as we always do with what the tier three mod and what's special about this weapon. So this is called Dark Sacrifice, and during combat, your weapon is supposed to drain uh, away from your ma from your max health up to fifty percent. Uh, and in exchange give you an extra 75% weapon damage bonus. Now that number, that 75% weapon damage bonus is equal to what you would get from killing spree if you manage to kill three enemies. So there's got to be a good trade-off for you to be able to uh, lose half of your health, your half of your actual uh, being as such to, to be able to get this extra damage bonus when all you can do really is just kill three people with killing spree and be able to be hitting that extra, extra damage bonus. So why does the Fatal Symbiont not work for the Technomancer? Well, that's kind of an easy one to solve. So whereas with uh, Trickster and Devastator uh, have to get kills with close up to be able to heal, and they don't heal in any, uh, normally in any other ways, uh, and the Pyromancer only heals from killing marked enemies, uh, and not normally in any other ways, the Technomancer is different from the fact that he gets health back for uh, just generally hitting enemies and actually just the amount of damage that you deal. So when you've got a, an SMG that is supposed to be working when you're under 50% health and then you're dealing extra damage on top of that with uh, this SMG, you're, you're then end up healing yourself to over the 50% threshold to then lose that weapon damage bonus and it, it, it doesn't really work off and the trade-off's not really there. Uh, so in other classes, yes, maybe it would actually work, but for a Technomancer, this is definitely not the gun to be running. You do not want to be touching this one. You get no benefit whatsoever from this other than it's just a nice looking gun. Okay, so we've got a mod that doesn't work for a specific class uh, that's in this game. Uh, would work with the other three, I believe, but obviously I can't test that just yet. I don't have another class that's up to level 50 to be able to wield this thing, but I would love to be able to give this another test and another go just to see if it does work. But it's also an SMG and it's a full auto one at that, which means that it does have the lower end of the damage. Um, the 50 round mag standard is pretty nice. Uh, the damage it does per bullet is okay, I guess. It's passable. It's, no, it's nothing exceptional. Um, and then you tie that in with the fact that SMGs have pitiful range in this game, uh, meaning that the damage fall off is just going to fall off so sharply that you might as well just be using a shotgun. So why would you use this? I, I, and I personally cannot really answer that question. Um, but maybe that, that's possibly down to the fact that I am just purely a Technomancer main at the moment, and maybe I'm just missing the point here, but as far as I can tell, there is literally no reason to be able to ever cut your health in half to be able to gain yourself a 75% damage bonus when you could just be easily getting that with Killing Spree. Now, I guess if you get this instead of an Amber Vault and you haven't dismantled an Amber Vault to be able to get that mod, okay, maybe there's an argument for it. I, 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 I could possibly see that being the case, but it's instantly worse than killing spree as soon as you get the Amber Vault, so it, it feels like it's a garbage tier tier 3 mod in that kind of sense. So in theory, is there a place for this mod or is there a place for this gun? Um, I don't think so. I don't feel like there is and I, I just don't feel like the, uh, the benefit outweighs the fact that you're killing yourself basically. Uh, there is also a chance that maybe combining the Amber Vault with this would actually work out quite well. The fact that you can get yourself a 75% damage bonus and another 75% damage bonus on there, uh, whether it go on to the SMG or whether it goes on to the double gun, could be nice. 
that one could do potentially use some testing. I do have a killing mod that I can, uh, killing spree mod that I can put onto this. Give it another go. Try it with a different class when I get them up to uh, CC15, and then potentially make another video on that. Maybe there's a niche. I, I honestly cannot tell at this moment in time. But personally, I just don't feel like this mod, this mod, or the gun itself does enough to be able to justify its legendary status. And that's a shame. It really is a shame. The, the, the gun design in this game, in this game altogether, is brilliant, and this gun is in no exception. It's, it looks amazing. It's kind of on the minimalistic side compared to all the others, but it's still top notch. I can't, I can't fault it whatsoever. But then to be let down by a mod that potentially could have been really good, uh, maybe there's a, there's a, a view for a, a class that has low health constantly, but actually deals a massive amount of damage and maybe has that glass cannon, but this is not the way to go about it. This gun is definitely nowhere near <laughs> capable of doing those things. Um, but maybe there's some kind of mod uh, that went use for the mod to be able to go onto another gun. Maybe there's some kind of build in the skill tree that I haven't come across that that can use this to great effect. Maybe there's something out there. Uh, but until then, until we get some kind of buff for the gun, until we get some kind of buff for uh, builds in general, in that kind of sense, until the Technomancer can even have an ability to be able to use this, um, I, I, I just avoid this altogether. I mean, it would look nice to in, in your stash. It will look great to be able to collect all the Tier 3 mods and just have access to them just in general. Uh, but other than that, stay away. There's no point. You might as well scrap it straight away. That's, that's just my general honest opinion. And that is it for the Fatal Symbiont. It's a shame to be so negative about a gun in this game. Um... But I just couldn't find anything really positive to be able to say about this for the time being. I do hope they they find a way for it, and they, I, I do feel like there could be a place for this gun at some point, or maybe even the mod uh, in the future. But until now, I just don't feel like it's just there for it, and I just don't feel like the player base will be willing to accept this when Killing Spree is just so readily available, uh, and it's just so much better in general. Um, but fingers crossed, we'll see what the future holds. Uh, it's still early days for Outriders. Maybe something else will come in the future. And that is it. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've learned something from this. Uh, I hope you've learned to stay away, and technically. But, <laughs> but essentially, that is it. So, um, yeah, in that case, keep yourself safe. Keep yourself well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have a lot of people that are just watching that aren't subscribed to the channel. It would mean the world for us to be uh, for you to be able to subscribe uh, and just catch us on the next video. Uh, and, yeah, that is everything. Keep yourself safe, speak soon, and uh, see you on the next one.